case. There's something wrong with your eye. What are you talking about? One iris is a different color than the other, which happens occasionally when you're dealing with twins. I'm an only child. Hey, all right? Am I a twin, Dad? He died while the two of you were still in utero. Your mother never told you, but I knew. By living, you denied it entry into our world. Oh, Dad, I saw the unborn yesterday and I was so scared. It terrified me. Really? Now, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> now, I heard that um, you guys had some pretty interesting experience as well filming the insane asylum. Um, yes. That was pretty That was pretty scary, right? That was pretty intense. Uh -huh. I gotta say, you know, nothing really that terrifying happened throughout the movie, but mm -hmm. once we got into the insane asylum, it was weird things started yeah. happening. You know, we started hearing voices and it wasn't any of our crew or any of our cast. And, you know, we started this person and took this picture in this stairwell. It was really yes. dark and you could see these hands and uh, you know, it was like this huge lighting fixture we were about to shoot uh -huh. and then it just all of a sudden broke on us. Yeah. You know, just weird, weird things were happening. Wow. So now I know this, uh, The Unborn is a psychological thr thriller. Right. Um, are you now a believer of the supernatural? Uh, you know what? I keep saying that I never was, but now I'm completely open to it. Absolutely. Because so many things happened firsthand. You know, I, I witnessed them. So absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I need an exorcism performed. I'm being haunted by something. I, I, I dip, I dip. A dibbuk? Yes, a dibbuk, yes. Well, as for dibbuks, well, there really is no such thing, Miss Balda. Well, it's not outside the realms of folklore. You have to understand, back in the Middle Ages, things like the spirits and demons were really just a catch-all for conditions people weren't capable of properly diagnosing. Mental illness, as we know, it didn't exist back then. I'm, I'm not mentally ill. Okay, what's happening to me is real. Now, I know with the exorcism scenes, they were also very physical and very emotional as well. Right. Now, how did you prepare for that? Did you do any research um, for those particular scenes? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, you know, I had this idea, of course I could grab the books and I could start mm -hmm. reading, but, you know, I think it's more visual if I went to, I went to YouTube. You did, and I YouTube, actually, huh? Yeah, I All actually right. um, watched some videos. It okay. Was, I was so terrified. I, yeah. I almost couldn't finish them because mm -hmm. I was alone in the dark. Mm -hmm. I was watching these exorcisms, but, you know, it kind of gave me an idea of what, you know, know people actually go through and what they if they believe that they're being possessed or uh -huh. you know their body is being a spirit is being it's taking over them so you know it was, it was it was good it was really great research and it kind of helped me for, for that scene are you sure you want to go through with this I just want this to be over my name is Arthur Wyndham and this is the video record of the attempted uh, exorcism of Casey Belden we have the permission of the ecclesiastical authority who are praying for us. Um, everyone participating tonight is here of their own free will, including Casey. Agreed? Yes. Uh, just for the camera. Yes, this, this is what I want. Okay, so we're gonna place this black in your mouth so uh, you don't bite on your tongue. Let's just get on with this. I know in Cloverfield you play Beth, a girl right. in peril, and then also now in Them Born you play Casey, girl in peril. Right. How different was it for you this time around? Uh, you know, Cloverfield was such a different experience because mm -hmm. uh, we basically had to shoot through green screen okay. throughout the whole movie. And um, we could improv a lot. We could look into the lens. It okay. was all one shot. So okay. if anybody messed up, you know, you had to keep going or you had to go, you had to start over. Okay. With The Unborn, it was more structured. You know, I had my script. Okay. I knew exactly what I was going to do. I knew the blocking that I was going to do. Okay. And I kind of had everything in my mind. 
you know, going into it. So it was probably more of a traditional way of shooting. Okay. And you also, um, how was it working with um, David uh, Goya? Because you also trusted him, especially with the speculum as well, because you had I some <laughs> very interesting eye scenes there. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, I was such a big fan of David's work before I even started shooting the movie. Mm -hmm. And, you know, working with him and starting to create this character was just such a pleasure to work with him and, and being able to do that. It was so cool. It's so great that he even trusted me to be the lead of his movie. Yeah. You know, it's such yeah. a surreal experience. And, you know, we had a great time together. We joked around and we, you know, it was just great. Yeah, yeah. Baby, we gotta go. Get up, baby. Come on. Come on. Baby. baby, you're hurting me. Mark, stop it! No! So I'm thinking uh, this makes for a great uh, safe sex uh, promo. What do you think? <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. There's no way I'm having sex again. I mean, or... <laughs> well, thank you so much, Adette. <laughs> thank you.